So when I was trying to put this room together, it was all to immerse the students in a situation that they've undoubtedly heard about, which is uh, World War One, World War Two, and, and the conflicts that have kind of uh, been brought to light because of Remembrance Day, that brought like, through Remembrance Day. But our students know about it, but they don't know about it, um, and hopefully never will. But that doesn't mean they shouldn't try and be immersed in the situation itself. So I built this room and I wanted to show clearly like the imagery of the poppy so I could talk about the symbolism of what it meant. But I also wanted to kind of play around with the use of colour. Uh, there are greys and mists, but also white poppies, of course, which are now starting to symbolise peace and for all wars, not just the, the great ones that have inspired the red poppy. And on the, on the back wall, I also wanted to kind of show a more modern soldier because we shouldn't be forgetting that wars are still being fought now. When it comes to students in English, though, we need to be able to pair that with something that is uh, that is related to the war that they can get their teeth into that matters. So I took a poem from Wilfred Owen um, and I set several questions on that poem. But rather than having them, you know, go in and leave and, and forget half what they saw, it's all in one space. And because it's all in one space, they can write more from the heart and understand immersed in the environment exactly what they should be thinking about. It's all about cultural poverty. It's all about our students having access to experiences that have been denied them, whether it's because of finances or, or because of their location or because of how uh, the opportunities they might have had have passed them by. And after COVID especially, we need to be on top of this, which is why I thought, let's get this built.